lighting is an issue. You can judge it, that's Arushi. This speech was given by Simon Sinek at a TED conference in May 2010. It is titled, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. How do you explain when things don't go as we assume? Or better, how do you explain when others are able to achieve things that seem to defy all of the assumptions? For example, why is Apple so innovative? They're just a computer company, and they're just like everyone else. Then why is it that they seem to have something different? There's something else at play here. About three and a half years ago, I made a discovery, and this discovery profoundly changed my view on how I thought the world worked. As it turns out, there's a pattern. All the great and inspiring leaders and organizations in the world think, act, and communicate in the exact same way. And it's the complete opposite to everyone else. All I did was codify it, and it's probably the world's simplest idea. Why, how, what? Every single person, every single organization on the planet knows what they do, 100%. Some know how they do it, but very, very few people or organizations know why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make a profit, that's a result. By why, I mean, what's your belief? What's your purpose? Why do you get out of bed in the morning and why should anyone care? Well, as a result, the way we think, the way we act, and the way we communicate is from the outside in. It's obvious. We go from the clearest thing to the fuzziest thing. But inspired leaders and organizations, regardless of size or industry, all think, act, and communicate from the inside out. If Apple were like everyone else, a marketing message from them might sound like this. We make great computers. They're beautiful designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. Wanna buy one? Meh. And that's how most of us communicate. Firing. Here's how Apple will actually communicate. Everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. We just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? Totally different, right? All I did was reverse the order of information. What it proves to us is that people don't buy what you do, people buy why you do it. This explains why every single person in this room is perfectly comfortable buying a computer from Apple. But we're also perfectly comfortable buying an MP3 player or a phone or a DVR from Apple. But Apple is just a computer company. Their competition are all equally qualified to make all of these products. In fact, they try. Dell came out with MP3 players and PDAs, and they make great quality products, and they can make perfectly well-designed products. Nobody bought them. In fact, talking about it now, we can't even imagine buying an MP3 player from a computer company. But we do it every day! what you do, they buy why you do it. The goal isn't to do business with people who need what you have. The goal is to do business with people who believe what you believe. Here's the best part. None of what I'm telling you is my opinion. It's all grounded in the tenets of biology. When we communicate from the inside out, we're talking directly to the part of the brain that controls behavior. This is where the gut decisions come from. You know, sometimes you can give 
somebody all the facts and figures and they say, I know what all the facts and details say, but it just doesn't feel right. Why would we use that word? It doesn't feel right. Because the part of the brain that controls decision making doesn't control language. And the best we can muster up is, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Listen to politicians now with their comprehensive 12-point plans. They're not inspiring anybody because of leaders. And then there are those who lead. Leader hold a position of power or authority, but those who lead inspire us. We follow those who lead not because we have to, because we want to. We follow those who lead, not them, but for ourselves. And it's those who start with why, who have the ability to inspire those around them or find others who inspire them.